Okay, everybody. Uh, so we're going to continue making our platformer using arcade.makecode.com. This is part three of making a platformer uh, of the tutorial for platformer. So now if you've been doing this other one, that's awesome too, but that's not the assignment. So you need to jump down here to this. Now, if you haven't done the first two steps and part one here, which was uh, learn to use make code, you need to do that first. Then you need to work your way through these tutorials because the code builds on the code you've already made. I'm gonna restart. And are you sure you wanna restart? Yep, I wanna restart. And then it's gonna ask me a question. It might ask you the same question. It's gonna say, do you wanna use, keep the code from the previous activity? Yes, you want to keep the code. Um, unless you wanna redo, like, and kinda, I think you should keep the code. So keep the code. And here's the goal. In this lesson, we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna add enemies to this assignment. So we're gonna add some something to make it even more exciting, more interesting. Um, and, and, and this is gonna walk you through that. I am not gonna do this whole tutorial as a video. Now you know how to use make code. You know how to open this and close this. You know how to click the next button. You can click this little button here to see the code and check to make sure you've done it right. And then you know to test the code over here. So, um, and, and also the refresh button is your friend and uh, you can try the different controls to make sure they're working. But by the end of this lesson, hopefully you're gonna have some enemies and um, you're also gonna wanna try to make your controls work the way you want them to so you can go back and tweak those things. And the other thing I wanna show you is this, which I think is really cool. You can go at any time, like say, for example, to the sprites, um, and you can see set my sprite to blank kind of player. Um, you can create custom, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Actually, I want to delete that. You can just hit delete and make it go away. So see right here where I've got my sprite and it's the ghost. I can change that at any time. I can add, uh, I can make eyes on it, you know, make a giant eyeball. I want a giant red eyeball with a black dot right there, make it look a little more scary. Um, and now I refresh it. And there's my ghost with the eye, which I, I like, I like that. So, um, and then also your tile map, you can actually upgrade your level, which is, by the way, your final thing that you're going to do is you're gonna customize all of this. So for example, um, you're going to replace some of this with uh, different tiles, like, um, I don't know, dungeon. Ooh, I like dungeon. I'm going to start, you know, painting that over what's here and make it my dungeon tiles so that it looks more like my game. Also, you can make your own custom spots so that there's, you know, things that you want to appear. And then you can change these symbols to other things too. Um, for right now, I would not change those symbols because then you're, I don't know what that's gonna do to the code. But your goal is to make this game as much your game as possible. And if you wanna start with a brand new game uh, later to kind of make your own thing, which we are going to do at some point, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back to the home. You can start a from scratch new project right here. And you can click new project and you can call it, you know, uh, Attack on Titan's best friend, Bob. Okay, and I'm gonna create. And then that will give you a brand new clean start. So if you wanna start from scratch, you can also do that. But I'd suggest if you don't feel confident in doing that, starting from, from the code. Your goal for this assignment, once again, um, oh, I like this beginner skill map, look at that. They, they changed the graphic, like since the last time I, oh no. Oh, look at this. Oh, this looks like it's um like an easier version of the tutorials. Oh my. Well, there's more cool tutorials here, which I didn't even know about. Um, so you can check those out later. We were doing Game Maker Guide, I'm sorry. So the beginner skill map is brand new. That I mean, that literally just came out I don't know, like the last 10 minutes because I was like literally on this page and it wasn't there and now it's there. So um, if you'd like, you can try that. But for first, everyone needs to finish 
the platformer and get to the prize here and be able to screenshot that and share a link when your game is done, okay? So for Thursday, Friday, that's your, your assignment. For those of you that are just following along at home, trying to make your own game, uh, I wanna encourage you to come up with an original name for your game, change that character to something original, come up with a little like backstory for the character and for the game because that makes it more fun and then you can actually add things like a splash screen where the story is told. Um, and, then, and you get more of that information later. If you look at the later levels, how to add multiple levels so you can actually change when you get to the, to the little prize at the end that you jump to the next level. And then um, how to give your enemies some ability to move and, and do stuff to you. Like, so you see these purple moving blocks. So... Uh, and then the final conclusion, uh, you'll get this little um, certificate of completion. So good luck, and I look forward to seeing your games.